This video is on the reflection rules. So when you are doing reflections, it's important to identify the line of reflection. So let's take a look at a line of reflection over the x-axis. So this is my line of reflection, the x-axis. And if I take point two two and I want to reflect over my line of reflection which is my x-axis I would go keep my x coordinate the same which is two but my y would become negative two so I'm reflecting over the x-axis. Likewise, with y-axis, if I'm reflecting over the y-axis, I need to identify my line of reflection, which is going to be the y-axis. And if I go to point negative 1, negative 2, and I want to reflect over that, I still am at my y-coordinate 2, and I'm reflecting over the y-axis, so my new point would be 1, negative 2. So if it says for me to reflect across y equals x, I have to identify my line of reflection. So that would be point 1, comma 1, 2, comma 2, or negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 2. So my line of reflection would look like this. So negative 1, comma 2, I would take and flip my two coordinates. So reflection over y equals x would be at 2, negative 1. So I switch my coordinates. So if I want to reflect over y equals negative x, again, I have to identify my line of reflection. So if I plugged in a 1 for x, my y would be negative 1. So I would have a point here. If I plugged in negative 1 for x, my y would be a positive 1. So my line of reflection would go this way. Yeah, I missed it, but you get the point. So if I had a point, let's say 2, 3, it would be here. And my line, my reflection would switch my two coordinates, y and x, and make them both negative. So I would go over here to negative 3, negative 2. And that would be my reflection point. So here are your rules for reflection. Hopefully this video on reflections was helpful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.